Hey, what's up guys? It is Saikuru Sam here and welcome back to the channel. And today I am super excited to bring you guys a brand new commentary video where we're going to be talking about the best game engine to pick in 2018. And guys, just before we begin with the video, I just want to note that we are actually live streaming tomorrow and we even have a live countdown timer in the description down below, which you can check out to make sure you don't miss out the live stream. And guys, make sure to subscribe down below to make sure you don't miss out on any new content, especially the live stream tomorrow. And we're also going to host some giveaways and game jams that are coming up on the channel so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on that as well and now with that being said guys i hope you all enjoy your time let's get right into it So we are now getting used to 2018 and we have a long time ahead of us until 2019 obviously and a lot of indie developers have already started with their projects many are still planning and sketching around and a lot of those people who are still planning around are thinking of which engine to go with because that's obviously the main question you ask yourself when you're about to get started with game dev and honestly there are just so many game engines to pick through like unity unreal engine cry engine godot and many more engines that are available for the public right now which makes it a little bit difficult to actually pick so if you're one of those people don't worry i understand you completely the entire community here understands your situation right now because we have been in the same shoes and therefore in this video i will be giving you guys some tips on which engine to go with and share valuable information to help you pick in the right one and first and foremost let's get one thing out of the way right off the bat don't let people pick the engine for you feel free to question ask around and gather information and allow people to help you but don't don't let them pick the engine for you. Gather all the intel you have collected of each engine and pick the one that sounds the best to you. As you heard in the beginning of this video, I will just give you guys my personal opinions and guide you to picking one. I won't tell you which one to pick because then I'd be straight up lying to your faces. And now that we have that out of the way, let's talk about some important factors you should think of when picking a game engine. So number one, coding and visual scripting. Are you mainly a programmer or a designer? Do you already know know how to code or do you want to learn it? The reason I'm asking you guys this question right now right off the bat is basically because the two biggest engines right now out there Unity and Unreal have one big difference which is the coding part. So in both engines you can obviously code, in Unity you can use C Sharp and in Unreal you can use C++. But the main difference is that Unreal mainly supports a system named Blueprints which is basically visual programming. Visual programming is literally just code coding in its normal sense but without actually writing the code. So instead of writing it, you have modules you can place in an open area. And in all honesty, Unreal Engine depends on blueprints quite heavily and you will have to use blueprints sometime in your game's development phase. That's the reason I'm asking you if you're actually a designer or a programmer or if you actually want to learn programming in its general sense. On the other side, Unity has no main feature of coding by designing like the blueprint system in UE4 but although there are many assets for completing that part and Unity is now actually implementing visual shader scripting so Unity is actually on a good way of implementing visual coding after all. The game engine named Godot also has visual scripting available. You can also code in C++ if you wish to or by using its own scripting language called GDScript which is supposed to be very similar to Python. And CryEngine also has Flow Graph Editor which is supposed to be their own visual scripting tool built in the engine. However, there have been many members saying that it's not as powerful as blueprints in UE4 since it is more limited. And if you want to go with CryEngine and you want to actually go for coding, you can use C++, C Sharp, and Lua since these are the three languages supported by CryEngine. Personally, I always suggest people to learn coding and it's simply for their own good. If you just use visual scripting, you will miss out on a big part of game development which is coding. For the programming part, I never really found any big differences between C Sharp of Unity and C++ of UE4 for example, it all really comes down to the engine's support of that language by developing their API. And now we're going to be talking about the number two tip of this video which is simplicity. So the engine that I have personally found most friendly in terms of user interface is actually Unity. 
community. It's just the way their design is, like everything is easily reachable and you as a beginner in Unity are not going to have any trouble finding relevant features you want to use. For example, when I got started with Unreal Engine, I thought the UI looked very professional, which was really satisfying in all honesty, but it was also a lot harder to find something in Unreal. However, I also found UE4 to be very easy to work with right after you get started. A great example is the landscape system, the terrain system. To create a landscape, it took me a long time to figure it out because you had to add the landscape material. You couldn't just add like a separate texture. You had to create a material where all the textures were laid out in it, like a blueprint like system, which is their material editor, obviously. And then you could add that material. Whereas in Unity, it was like, you want to use this texture? Go ahead and add it. And I think for the simplicity part, that's the main factor that really wins me over for Unity's part. Like, I, I just like that so much. And I prefer the simplicity, the straightforwardness over the professionalism because especially for a beginner with the engine who's getting who's just getting started right you want to get going quickly but also understand why you have to do certain things to actually achieve what you're trying to achieve speaking of simplicity i always found godot very friendly to the eyes too and i didn't really find it hard to get going with when i was new to it cryengine was a little bit more intimidating at first but didn't really come off as a problem either because i was used to that kind of intimidation from ue4 <laughs> but yeah for for the simplicity part, I really will be sticking with Unity. And now number three guys, the prices. So we're gonna be getting into some numbers now, don't worry, I'm gonna keep it very simple, straightforward and very clean actually, I'm not gonna play too much with the numbers and do a lot of math, right? So CryEngine, Unity, UE4 and Godot are all free to download and develop your games with, also commercially. In more detail, it looks like this. Unity. There are three total plans, one being personal, the other one being plus, and the last but not least, pro. Personal is free, plus costs 35 bucks per month, and pro costs $125 per month. There are obviously some very in-depth details for Unity's price plans and the different subscriptions from personal to pro, but I will be linking them in the description down below because the list is too long, but it's it's more for people who are actually working as teams or making something very, very big that has already earned quite a bit of money, which we're gonna get into. So the personal or free edition can be used to create games and publish them commercially. The only thing is that your game's splash art will include made with Unity logo. Unity is also royalty free, which means that you don't have to pay any extra fees. Although if you're commercially published Published games income exceeds $100,000 of total income per year, you just simply have to upgrade to a higher tier license. And for Unreal Engine, there are no plans, there are no subscriptions, there is, however, a royalty fee of 5% of your game's gross revenue after the first $3,000 earned per game per calendar quarter. To make that easier for you, after you publish your commercial project in Unreal, you will have to track your gross revenue and pay a 5% royalty royalty on that amount after the first $3,000 per four months. And Godot really keeps this very easy, it's just a one-liner. This is this one is completely free, no plans or subscriptions, you can download for free through Steam. Neither are there any royalties tied with this engine that you have to pay after four months or one year or whatever, so publish as many commercial projects as you want, you're not going to get charged for it. And last but not least, CryEngine, this, this one doesn't have any subscription requirements, no royalties, no obligations, license fees, or limitation from engine features for free users. There are still two memberships you can subscribe to for additional features on the site, which includes a base membership at $50 per month and a premium membership at $150 per month. And now that we're done with the prices, guys, we're going to get into number four, which is the graphics. <laughs> Ignore that. One of the heated topics throughout the years when speaking of game engines has been obvious the graphics. Just naming Unreal Engine and Unity in a couple of sentences together is enough for people to jump on you and tell you which one is the best graphics even though we all know it's Unity. But it's important for you to acknowledge the visual differences between the game engines you're going to use before you actually get started on a series project. And I am not going to discuss this too long with you guys because I don't want to waste your time because this is not more complex than what people actually do it or make it to be. So here's my biggest suggestion. I suggest you to go out and test and try the ones that interest you the most. Do you want to find out if UE4 or Unity suits your game the best? Try both of them and make a template. These 
engines are free to download and to use. You can download them and then try them out for a certain amount of time to see which one makes your game look the best because at the end of the day this is just an investment for your game in terms of time. Besides there will also be some game engines that you find that works best for 2D games where another one performs better for 3D games even though both choices support 2D and 3D. And now guys for the last point of this video number five the type of game. So I talked about this a little bit in the previous point, but I also wanted to create an entire talk point for this one to make sure I don't hold you back from any kind of information. So there are many game engines for specific needs as well. If you're creating a pixelated top-down RPG game, maybe you shouldn't limit yourself to picking between Unity, UE4, or any other game engine that is mentioned in this video. So what I'm saying is basically that you can use engines like RPG Maker, 001 Game Creator, and many more that are available for the public, but if you still want to use Unity or another engine that is mentioned here, which is not mainly created for that genre, you can also check out the marketplaces because usually the marketplaces like the asset store of Unity of each engine have 3D models, you know, sound effects and many other types of assets developed and published by the community. But there are also tons and tons of editor extensions, sprites, etc. And by editor extensions, there can be some, you know, like a blueprint system for Unity, which would be in UE4 and like a sprite system where you can play sprites instead of just 3D models. So you can draw a little bit easier for your RPG top-down games. And Unity has indeed the largest asset store through all game engines since it's been free for so long that people have had time to taste it. Ew, that sounds weird. So just make sure to check out the marketplaces and don't forget doing a little research before picking some game engine you want to go with because there could be a game engine waiting for you which is hidden a little bit under the rugs and under these game engines that we're talking about which can be specifically made for the type of game you're creating and now guys before we conclude this video one last suggestion pick yourself don't fall for the normal trick where you take advice as orders. You know the engine you want the best. No one else should be telling you, pick this one. If they do, don't listen to them. For your own sake, for your team's sake, and for your game's sake, ultimately. And also, Google everything you need. If you're creating a very specific type of game, as I mentioned earlier in the previous point, Google it up. Look for suggestions, look for game engines that could be specifically made for the kind of genre, for the kind of style you're actually trying to make. And with that being said, guys, Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed and I hope your 2018 goes well both for you personally and for your projects. Now, for the question of the video, what engine do you wish to work with? So I want to know what you guys have to say about this topic and therefore we have a new system in these videos that I have implemented which is for which is called just question of the day or a question of the video. <laughs> and the question of this video is obviously what engine do you wish to work with? Let us know in the comments. We're looking forward to your replies. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like down below by clicking the thumbs up button and also hit subscribe so you stay up to tune for new videos coming soon. Also turn on the bell notification if you can because Papa YouTube sometimes doesn't only you know demonetize your videos but also doesn't send any notification to people who are actually subscribed to your channel anyway guys once again thank you so much for watching I'll be catching you guys in the comments or in the discord server and if you want to join discord the link is in the description and in the pinned comment see you guys there bye bye